much for joining for another video. This is Arlene Stings. Please don't forget to please share, subscribe, and comment in the link below. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining me and welcome me to my channel. Today, I'm having my wife, um, you know, collaborate with me today on this video. And what we're having today, we having, um, this is, what kind of this? This is cup salad? Yeah, uh, that's a kale salad. Kale salad. We have rice. We have beans. I put an egg, a sunny side up egg on top. And these right here, I'm going to show you guys right now, but these right here are the stuffed mushroom that we left for us. My wife, we went to a barbecue yesterday. My wife made some last night for the barbecue. So these are the ones that we left for ourselves. So if you guys can see this, but this is rice, beans, okay, salad. This is how this is breaking right now. This is my sunny side up egg. And these are the stuffed mushrooms that my wife made. It was delicious. Everybody ate it. So let's begin. And how did you make baby the mush? This I didn't help you yesterday. How did you make the stuffed mushrooms? Can you tell them how you made it? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, sausage. Oh, oh yes, I made um a combination of Italian sausage and some chorizo. Mm hmm. Yeah. And you cooked it, and then you put it in the mushroom, mm -hmm. and then you put it in the oven, right? I see the mushrooms with um you know salt pepper and olive oil and uh you put it in the and oven and then i put the stalks i chopped up the stalks and i mixed it with some onion and parsley okay. and chorizo mix and how did you cook it um in the oven, in the oven. okay perfect okay so let's begin because today i'm hungry so uh -huh. yeah I, I cooked them for about 20 minutes at 350. Mm. So, I know everybody loved it yesterday, but I can't wait to have one today, so. You saw this tough mushroom. We were able to find some really huge mushrooms. Not huge, but big mushrooms. Nice so, mushroom caps. Always makes it easier for us to be able to stuff it. This is so good. Thank you, baby. Now I always like to sometimes put put a um, actually you taught you taught me to put a sunny side up egg on top of food. It always makes it more yummy. I mean, it's for us sometimes. You know, you guys want to eat, of course. But yesterday was a nice barbecue. We played some games. What kind of game was it? Um, it was uh, what's it called? Um, Loteria. <laughs> Loteria. And it was a fun game. It's almost like a bingo game, but with cards. Well, no, and it's a, it's a Mexican, it's a Spanish version. It's a Mexican, I know that's what's called Loteria, but it has pictures, and it has, for example... Oh, yes, instead of numbers. Instead actually. of numbers, so they call it, and whenever you cover 16, pictures of one card, so whenever you cover the card... If you're playing that game, then you win. So it was some gag games that we won yesterday, but it was, it was a fun game. We did have a good time. We had um, the whole family together, so it was awesome to see that. Mm -hmm. mm. We thought we were going to go for a couple of hours. We're in the same for like midnight. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun, fun. So I hope you guys had a good Saturday. Today's Sunday, so yesterday we were gone most of the day, so today we're going to spend it with our babies. They're with us right now. Um, you know, because I know they missed us. So today we're going to chill, stay home, and spill, spend it with our babies. Yes, and she likes the tapatio. I like the red hot sweet chili. Mm, mm, mm. This is sweet and it's not so hot, hot. And it's so spicy, mm. but I do love the the uh, taste that it gives me. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put a little bit, a little bit of my eggs. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And it's so funny because uh, August twenty first is gonna be twenty now uh, thirteen years we've been together. So for the first eight years or so. I'm gonna be real. 
her family didn't talk to me much. So only a couple cousins. Um, her godmother always loved me from day one. She always opened always welcome me with open arms, which was her aunt. Okay, so for the first eight years, you know, they were not talking to me much. So it took a while for me to warm up, but all of a sudden after eight years, not only have they accepted me, but we have one of her uncles that was her smoking partner. <laughs> He's my smoking partner. You guys are the and buddies. We're now we're buddies. And so find out to to remember for the first eight years, and won't even speak. I mean, I'm, I was a new kid in the block, you know, so they didn't know me. They know my intentions. Mm -hmm. But it's so it nice. It took some years, and now. Years, yeah. Mm, now you guys are inseparable. I love it. Everybody's looking for him. Everybody's looking for you. <laughs> I'm looking for you. They're like, where are they? Oh, they must be over there somewhere. Mm -hmm. You guys are tucked away in a corner somewhere all the time. Papa Kiki, I love him. Mm -hmm. I love that man. But it, it is just so different how perception changes, you know? They didn't know me. I didn't know them. I never... I knew why, you know? I never kept any judgment against them because they didn't know me. But it's just... It's amazing when people actually give you a break to see the real you. You know, the perception, how it can change. So that tells me if that can change, people's perception can change. You know, um, sometimes, you know, you might not like somebody for whatever reason when you first meet him. But sometimes, you know, if you give a benefit of the doubt, you know, and you try to see another perception, you realize perspective. a perspective. I'm sorry. You see another perspective. You're able to see sometimes you have more in common than you think. So. I just love, you know, I, I now I love going, you know, sometimes I do like to spend time home. I like to stay home a lot, but I don't mind going to our family's house because we always have good fun times. We always have great times. And now that they all accepted me, I mean, they even text me sometimes, which is amazing <laughs> from not talking to texting, you know, it was awesome. You're included in the group. Yeah, I'm included in the group. So anyways, um, I appreciate it. So yeah, we, had, we had a great, great, great time and. I do love to spend time with your uncle. Mm -hmm. I call him my uncle, Papa Kiki. Is that, that's not my nickname. That's our nickname, but he never minded me calling him that. And now we're, we're like this. We're all together. <laughs> they take videos of us together. They take pictures. They make fun. I don't care. You know, we love to spend. I love his stories. He has mm -hmm. so many. You guys great... were all over the map yesterday. Oh, he was showing me. You know, he was showing the me. The map everywhere. was spread out on the table and they were planning their Yes, trip, he their was showing me. Voyage. You know, your uncle has been to almost all Mexico. The only part he hasn't been. Yeah. You know, Cabo San Lucas, the little island, you know, and I was separated from, and it goes, so he wants to, he wants to spend, he wants to be able to see all that. I mean, mm. he has so many, so many, yeah. so many stories. I mean, that's why I love being with her uncle, because he is a, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, I'm what the word I'm trying to say, um, like a fountain of, mm -hmm. of, of, of information. I mean, he's mm -hmm. a fountain of beautiful stories he told me i didn't even know but i like history i like to know people you know society stories and stuff but he has so much knowledge and he can talk to me about music about politics about history about geography he can talk to me about everything about different nationalities mayas aztecas i mean so many things from not only from here but from other countries central america south america europe i mean he's very well informed and i just love to speak to him because i feel like I love hearing stories. He puts it in a way for me that he talks to me. I always tell to people when they teach me something, to talk to me like a two-year-old. I want to know you explain to me correctly that way I learn. And the way he he puts it, I told him we should have a TV show. The way he puts it together, it makes so much sense. And by the time you leave, you feel much wiser. Anyway, so I love spending, even though he's my smoking partner, everybody gives me... A hard time about that, but I just love spending time together, and I really appreciate when I go to her family's house because that's my family now. It's been my family for thirteen years. So, anyways, I do appreciate you. Almost done. I'm so, I'm so you. <laughs> so, anyway, it was a good time. It, it was. was a really good time. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we have all kinds of blends of family there. You know, that's why I love it. Mm. Mm. And also, this is what orange, orange aid. 
Orange Ate by Arizona. Yeah, this is an orange juice. Um, it is really good when it's hot to have this with ice. Mm -hmm. mm. This. Are we gonna go swimming later? Oh yes. Yes, it is hot, so we're gonna be going and spending time with our babies. We do have one dog that loves to go in the water with us, but the other two. <laughs> we have our Rocky. He's the people that we find at the bar. <laughs> he doesn't like the water, so sometimes when it's hot, I gotta make him come with me. <laughs> so I get him in the water and I hold him like this, you know. Okay. Huh? Keep eating. I know. I hate him. Okay. And anyway, so he loves. I make him swim. And that way, by the time he's, he's done, I don't keep him in the water much. I just want him to get wet and cool. And then when they're nice and wet, even the five pounder that we have, <laughs> then we can relax and enjoy our pool because we don't want it to, you know, so hot for them, you know? Mm -hmm. But Marley, she loves the water. She'll sit with us in the first step in the pool. Oh. Or sometimes, that's why we have to close the gate because if she, if it's hot, she goes in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By herself. She co yeah, and she comes out. And, um, you know, she's really good about it, but, you know, it's dangerous. You never know something happens and she could mm -hmm. hurt, you know? Mm -hmm. But yes, before we leave it open, and we start coming away, and I go, what? She just went inside mm -hmm. for the first step, lay down. Or we hear her. You hear the yes. splashing in the water. Mm -hmm. We look at each other. Is is that her in the pool? <laughs> mm, this salad is so good. It has mm -hmm. a little. So she puts her head under the water, and she's like, it's about to not drink it, but she's not drinking it. She's just... Playing in the water. How do you like that? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Hmm? some more? You could. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, so she beat me today eating. You should I beat her. Oh. <laughs> mm. But this is Spanish rice. And they're like sweet beans. Here, you go some more. Sweet beans? They're not like regular beans. What kind of they're kinda of sweet beans? Mm. No, they're um they're Mexican beans, but they're made with bacon. Mm, no wonder I love it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is so good, this little stuffed mushroom. I usually help her. But yesterday we were in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had a busy schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to chill like a real. Anyways, today I'm loving what I mean. And that's a kale salad. Mm -hmm. But it has so many like little, it feels like nuts, but it's mm -hmm. not. Yeah? They're pepitas. Mm. They're pepitas. It has some cranberries. And it's a poppy dressing. Kale. Poppy. So, what's up? I enjoyed every bite of it. Careful. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, no. That was delicious. I can't believe I had to hurry up to catch up to you because I always eat before you. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was faster today. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, you want some of this today? No. Sure. No. Oh, sorry. Here, cheers, cheers up over your mess. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you had a great weekend so far. 
Thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If not, please give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or concerns or anything you'd like to share with, me, with us or any suggestions, challenges, please don't forget to please comment in the link below. And again, thank you so much for joining us. I want to thank her for assisting me today in this video <laughs> and the food that we ate today. And I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the weekend and have a great Sunday. Until next time, peace.